What up, y'all? So we did the villains. I wanted to go ahead and do the heroes. Might as well. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about um, most likely to be, like, you know, uh, best superhero types. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be interesting. Um, yeah. Um, so let's get started. So, okay. Let's get started. ENFJ. Okay, so for ENFJs, ENFJs, I think they make pretty good heroes. Um, well, they nickname it the protagonist. Um, you know, they're not always protagonists, but they pretty much view themselves as protagonists, even if they're not. So <laughs> that's why they nickname that. I don't want y'all to get that confused, but um in the ENFJs, I think they go pretty high. Um maybe A or S tier. When I think of ENFJ, I think of like Mufasa, um, Optimus Prime, ENFJ, uh, things like that. They'd be pretty good. Inspirational Leader, I think that fits the superhero pretty well. I don't know if they go S tier, but I'm debat debating on that. Um, ENFP, um, I don't know if they'd be the best, but I'm not saying they'd be bad as here. I can't think of any off the top of the head, but they they are definitely well, of course Luffy. Luffy's an ENFP. Um you know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying they make bad hero, but they might not be the most ideal personality type to be a hero. Um as when you compare it to the other ones, but I'm not saying it's not possible. So I'd say maybe D um tier. They're not super in the moment, present people, kinda on their own ideas and things like that. Which is not a bad thing, of course, but I don't know if they make the best hero. Okay, so ENTJ, I think they do have some potential to be decent heroes, but they make better villains than they do heroes. Um, but they also would make bad heroes. You know? So I say C tier, you know what I'm saying? Um, ENTP, really smart, um, of course, as heroes. I don't know if they'd be ideal. They'd be the ideal type for be a hero. I'm not saying they do really bad necessarily, but um, I'm trying to think like a mature ENTP. I can't think of any off the top of the head, any heroes off the top of the head, but um, I guess the Flash, comic book Flash. I'm not talking about any other version. Um, the Flash, uh, oh yeah, Tony Stark. Um, oh yeah, Deadpool. Um, so as far as like being a hero, Tony, you look at like Tony Stark, Tony Stark, the main conflict in the Avengers was Tony Stark didn't fit the ideal hero necessarily. Some of the things that him and Captain America will argue about are Captain America is like that stereotypical superhero and Tony Stark isn't, um, he doesn't really fit the stereotypical idea hero. However, he, he is a pretty great hero. Um, he's pretty cool. That's part of the reason why he's one of my favorite heroes. Um, I'll say that. <laughs> but ENCP does not necessarily fit into that archetype too well, necessarily. So i say maybe E tier. Um, I just, it's just they don't really fit the archetype too well. That was the main thing about Tony Stark that made him unique, things like that. He didn't necessarily fit the archetype for a hero, but. He made it work. I don't think they make the best. They might even go F. I don't know. Um, let's say, yeah, E tier. Um, yeah. ESFJs. ESFJs, I think they go S tier. Pretty uh, dependable people. When I think of ESFJ, maybe uh, Tommy from Power Rangers, maybe ESFJ. Definitely, they kind of fit that. They like the kind of like Boy Scout bitch, Boy Scout kind of vibe. You know what I'm saying? They do the old cliche, do the right thing, things you would think of. Yeah, they fit superhero pretty well. I say yes there. Um, ESFP, I think they could be great in the moment, um, things like that. Only thing that's holding them back from being great heroes would be if they're not very responsible people. Um, they are late a lot. They might be late to saving people or something like that, I think. So that's the only thing holding them back from going really high. I want to say D tier. 
but they're great in the moment, and I think they still get the job done. When I think of the ESLP hero, I'm thinking of like Goku. Goku wasn't necessarily a hero as far as like cause saving people. He mostly got a thrill out of fighting strong people, but he in the process he would also be saving the world, which is cool, you know. But he's not the ideal hero. They're also a little reckless, and I think like you think about like heroes saving people and they got to make sure they don't destroy everything around them or hurt other people. I think they could potentially be too reckless and they might make a lot of mistakes and things like that too in some cases. But yeah, I think they can go pretty low. ESCJ, I think they could, they got a lot of potential to be a great hero. There's not a lot of ESCJ heroes but that I can think of right now, but I think they do a pretty good job because they're so responsible. I think they'd be pretty brutal though. Like when it comes to punishing villains and stuff, they probably be a little too harsh. <laughs> so they can, that's the only thing keeping them from going any higher. So maybe they'll put them next to ENTJ. You know, ENTJ is a little better than. So I don't know. Put them right behind the ENTJ there. So ESTP, I think they got a lot of potential to be good heroes. Very great in the moment. Very smart. Things like that. Um, one I can think of is probably Gambit. Gamba's a good hero, ESTP hero. Uh, they're real cool, man. And uh, they have cool powers and stuff, probably. Or they just have a swag about them, probably. They were pretty edible. Um, But they do tend to teeter. Like, they will be kind of like one to see what it's like to be a villain, I think, too. You know, Gamba's not like that. But I think ESTP, they like a hero. I think they would switch sides, I think. It'd be a villain for a while and then come back and being a hero, I think. Some of them, maybe. Maybe, but probably not all of them. But I think I, they can go probably beater. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, maybe maybe that's a little too... Well, yeah, I think that's reasonable. Okay, INFJ, they got a lot of potential to be good heroes. I think of INFJ, I think of like... What's the guy's name? Armin off of Attack on Titan. Um... He's an iron of J. I think they would have a lot of empathy and they would want to help people and want to save people when I let's put it like this. He and the, iron of J can make really good villains or really good heroes, I think. Um, they're very um it's very weird because they can be really good, like angels. Like I've said this before, they can be like angels or they can be like really just bad. Like to it's like they get real deep into it with that NI and the F E. They get real deep into being evil or real deep into being like sweet angels or whatever. Um, only thing holding them back is I think they might freeze up in the moment when it comes to making certain like tough decisions and things like that. They might not be the best when it comes to that. Um, other than that, they would be pretty good, but that's what's holding them back from being like higher. They probably go with the ESTP, baby. Yeah, B tier. Let's put it like that. Um, I the P, not very action oriented people. Uh, I think they'd be very caring people in the conversation. People, I kind of think of like Gohan as is I the P. Thing holding them back. I've said this before. I and the P's are not really fighters like that. They don't really, um, they don't have that fighter spirit. But like Gohan, Gohan came out and when he needed, they, when he needed to, he came and he did his thing. You know, he don't like fighting. Um. But that's an interesting dynamic. I say they go E tier. Yeah. This is not fighters, you know what I'm saying? Um, no, nah, I'm not saying they would. There's definitely probably some good ones. I just can't think of any right now. Um, INTJ. I think INTJ could be okay, like Batman. Um, some versions of Batman is INTJ, some of versions of e are ISTJ. Um, it just depends on which comic, because there's like a thousand comics out there. Batman, I think INTJs would be quite resourceful and things like that. They're not the most action-oriented people, though. I think that can hurt them as far as being a hero. Um, so let's say I put them down at D. Just from them not being very action-oriented. Maybe they can go higher, though. But they're real smart though, so I put them B. B is actually better. INTP. Okay, so INTP. I don't think they've had much interest in being a hero because they just want to, you know, they 
kind of like my type in some ways as far as like not being into people and they just kind of like you know introvert very introverted to themselves not very people are in it um now when it comes to intp heroes i think of like spider-man is an intp i'm talking about comic book spider-man not like movies movie spider-man is a little different you know what i'm saying but comic book or whatever you think of like comic book or, co- or cartoon spider-man intp and you guys know like uncle ben only reason spider-man became a superhero because uncle ben um passed and i think if as characters intps play are really strong usually but they don't necessarily want to be heroes most of the time because they just don't want to be bothered with people you know what i'm saying spider-man didn't really want to be bothered with people if you guys don't know if you guys know anything about his origin he didn't want to be bothered with people really he just kind of wanted to be in his own world even though he had powers but the thing that made him want to be heroes uncle ben you know what I'm saying? With great power comes great responsibility. That's what drove him to want to be a hero. But ideally, he didn't want to be a hero. So I don't think they have an interest. They probably go F tier, to be honest with you. Um, the high sub J, out of all the types, I think they probably make the best heroes. Um, it's because they're very dependable. They like helping people. They love, they will probably get a lot of gratification out of saving people. They're really good at watching over people, make sure people are okay and things like that. Um, they also make really good detectives. That's another, that's like one of their hidden talents, I think. ISFJs, SFJs in general, especially ISFJs will make really good detectives too. Um, they know how to stalk people real well. It's kind of weird, but ISFJ can go S tier, of course. They're number one as far as, so let's put them in front of SFJ. They're pretty much number one. I got all 16 types. ISFP, I think they'd be pretty good at being heroes. Very empathetic people. They would want to help people. And they would want, um, they would go as far as to saving animals <laughs> as heroes. They would probably be the pe- heroes that want to save animals too. You know what I'm saying? Um, and things like that. Just mainly live by empathy and they're very great in the moment. Things like that. So I think they go pretty high. Let's say A. I think that's pretty they're pretty good. ISTJ, I think they could be real good hero because they're super organized and they um I think they'd be very responsible heroes. Things like that. They're very pretty responsible people. Um but I don't think they'd like be most ideal, but they're pretty up there. I say B or A. Yeah, say, yeah. That'll work. Okay, ISTP. I think, okay, I've said this before. I think we're up there. We're one of the best. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or nothing like that, but but I'm being completely honest. I think we're one of the best types as far as being heroes because we're great in the moment. Um, We we thrive on excitement. There's a lot of excitement with being a hero and things like that. Um, We're very, like, Doing tough tasks that have a lot of pressure and things like that, we do real good on the pressure and things like that. So we'd be that guy to come through and do the job. You know what I'm saying? As far as being a hero. So, and then we also, we also low key have a protective side to us. We can be quite protective of people and we'll defend people and things like that. Um, but it's like a low key sort of trait. But we're definitely, I think, I've, I've said this before, but really ISFJ and ISTP, my type, we probably will make the best superheroes out of all types. Um, just because we're, we're super skilled and useful, you know what I'm saying, too. That's another thing. But um, I think we'll go up there with the ISFJs. But uh, I think that list looks pretty good. Um, you know, let me, got, let me know what you guys think about this list. Um, I think it's a pretty good list. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.